February 19th, 2014 will forever mark the day the Urbana hackberry tree was cut down. However, this was not a spur of the moment decision. This has been a very unique uh, process on this tree. Getting the community involved was a huge plus. Uh, we, it was our first televised tree commission meeting that we all got together to discuss what we were going to do with this tree. And uh, I think it's, uh, it's really panned out well. The community understands what we're doing. They're involved. Uh, it's not a surprise. This is a very important tree to the community. It was decided at the January 16th Tree Commission meeting it was in the best interest of the community to remove the hackberry tree after years of decay and deterioration. We've been keeping an eye on this tree and preserving it for the last 24 years or so. Uh, there's a little rot up in the top of the tree, uh, mostly from the ice storm damage that, that we sustained in 1990. Well, that's been decaying and deteriorating for 24 years. Uh, we discovered a crack up in the crotch and the crotch is starting to decay now so we determined this year was the year that we really needed to get it down before it fell apart. Even with its removal, residents will be able to remember the hackberry tree that stood at the corner of High and Kohler streets for years to come. We have some ideas from the public on how to memorialize it. We have some proposals from artists that want to get involved in memorializing it. So we have a gentleman that is uh, looking uh, to make a bench out of the tree. He wants to take a slice from the trunk and uh, about half of the slice and notate on that slice the years that uh, are rele relevant uh, in history to Urbana. I thought that's a neat idea. We have a fine wood furniture maker that wants to make a little conference table out of the tree. I thought that's a great idea and his work's really beautiful. For more information on how the city of Urbana is working with its residents to better our community, visit UrbanaIllinois.us.